Okay, let's go into a procedure to actually release the psoas iliacus muscle. And a lot of times I don't see this as being that effective with certain procedures. Sometimes it works where you're lying on the side, other times it doesn't. There's a procedure here on the side where you bring your leg up here. You're okay there, Mickey? Oh, yeah. I gotta work on the inside of your thigh. Are you okay with me making contact mm -hmm. there? Okay, good. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring the leg down here like this. Okay, so this is gonna be the standard procedure here. Hold it up there and just bring that down. Good, how are we doing there? Good. That's yeah, okay, but I'm not really feel like I'm getting a lot of traction on there. And then back mm -hmm. up again, take it down. Not really bringing it into tension that much, am I? No. Okay, so let's do a variation of this. Now, when I do this variation, please keep in mind several things. We have the inguinal ligament here, we have arteries, we have veins, we have nerves. If I get on a point here and we start getting pain shooting down here, I'm on the nerve, I get a pulsation, <laughs> we've got, you know, I'm obviously on an artery. So don't just keep pushing on an area there. Get some feedback from the patient here. I'm sure you'll tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take, not the end of my elbow, but the area just in front of here and kind of work my way in a bit. Are you okay? Oh okay. yeah. Okay, wrap. That's kind yeah. of a jump a spot. Bit of a zing. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take this and Go a little bit superior, bring this down. You can feel the difference there right away. Holy. And if I have my arm down, not too high up, if I was bringing my hand up here, I'd be causing a lot of pain there, yeah. but I'm not. Bring this down. So you can really feel that traction. Holy there. cow, yeah. And then I can push down a little bit with my left hand here and mm -hmm. bring it up. Bring this back up again. Good. You doing okay there? Oh, yeah. And this down, straight down. Not feeling any pulse or pain nope, shooting down like that. Nothing. Right down. Good. Now, that released fairly well here. You yeah. can easily touch the ground there. Just slide over the other side here a little bit. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is I want you to bring this down here. I'll just get the camera to come to this side over here. Okay. So when I'm coming in here, you okay? Okay. Okay, when I first go in here, bring this down. That is like it. That is, that is it. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. No. Okay, that, that is the range of motion. Yeah, so I'll just go in there, bring it down, breathe out a little bit. Let's get a nice release there, just let it go. Okay, bring it up again. Bring it down. You okay? Oh yeah. Bring it down. There we go. That's nice. Back up again, and again, one more time down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up. And uh, so I'm in there even deeper than I was originally. Yeah. And now, I mean, take it down. There we go. Foot fly on the floor. So this is such a great way to release the iliopsoas muscle much more effective than a lot of other ways that I've actually found to do it. So obviously this is a pin and stretch maneuver. Pin and stretch comes from a wide variety of modalities. Everybody's building on this, changing it, developing it. But this is a way that I have found to actually increase the effectiveness of this procedure. So check it out for yourself.